Uh, we are so, so excited to show you this show. Uh, over the last 24 hours, uh, like Bob was saying, we wrote and we rewrote and we bunch of stuff, threw a bunch of stuff up because the plan out didn't make sense. Uh, we've been eating pizza and warm beer for just constantly, constantly. Uh, last evening, we got several suggestions for our show. We received, uh, let's see, what was it? Taxidermy, makeup, and disgust slash elation. Uh, I think that will be very apparent throughout the night. Uh, we also got the musical artist of Benny White. Uh, and of course, we got the wonderful title, which we now present to you, Nightmares and Dreams. <laughs> Angelic, 
Why don't we skip animals for now? Well, let's go to grammatical words. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we still need a noun for that place over there, as well as the uh, plural uh, genitive neuter, neutral for uh, possessive, and of course the contraction for uh, they are. It's going to be there, there, there! <laughs> You 
will be money. I've seen this before. It will work out. We've got to completely pull you back, and we're going to abort the mission. But Rogers, Marty's ready. He needs to go now. Listen, Anus, it's not my problem. It's people help me to make these decisions. <laughs> They're going to send you to the land of the lost farts. Land of the lost farts? That sounds awful. Oh, it's not that bad. There are good farts down there. But I'm scared. Will you come with me? Now, Marty, you know that's not possible. <laughs> My job is too important here. Nobody knows anything for sure. Here, take this. <laughs> what is it? You'll know when the time comes. Marty, we need to leave now. Never give up, Marty. Okay. Never give up. I'll never forget you. Uncle Amos loves you. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I've got it. No, I don't want to hear another one of your crazy ideas. Well, this is, this is different because I won't be involved at all. I'm listening. <laughs> uh, it'll be a place for the masses. Anyone can come in and build the creature of their dreams. We'll have a pile of bodies stacked up by the front door. When you walk in, you select a body and... You disgust me. Uh, no, you select the body and stuff it with life. You pray over the heart and insert it into the chest cavity. You get to select the clothing with which to adorn it. You are a sadistic. Uh, well, I, did, did I mention how this creature building factory is a magical place filled with love? <laughs> and what is this magical place filled with love? Call it build. A bear workshop. <laughs> 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 I hope you pay the pencil. I give you a piece of my mind.
this, and I don't mean to pester. No, it's fine. It's fine. My house is yours. <laughs> but uh, they say their uh, Dale hasn't been to the Tim Hortons factory in uh, quite a couple of days. <laughs> 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 that's, that's really strange. Yeah. I thought he was going to work. That's funny. I, uh, I know Dale's schedule like my own. Uh, we're on a uh, curling team together. And, uh, uh, and, and come to think of it, now that you mention it, he wasn't at the last curling match. Oh boy, oh, I, I, that, I thought for sure he was, that's where he is. So gosh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, oh, you don't need to go over there. Hey, uh, Sebastian, come on over here and uh, take oh, a look at this here thing. That's Dale's curling room, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sam are. What? I 
addicted to marijuana. She just fell. I don't know what to do. I would have helped, but I don't have legs. I guess I could yell, Mom! The mom! 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 Help! Kara's overdosing on Spliff and Doobies! <laughs> oh no! The Chima took my baby! <laughs> overdosing on that sticky, icky, icky is really icky, icky, icky. <laughs> I'll never do it again. You should be thanking Mr. Belvedere. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known what was going on with you two. And because of him, I could be prepared for the worst. For a second there, Kara, you look like a deer in headlights. <laughs> I've really learned my lesson. Me too. I love you girls. I love everybody. <laughs> hey. Has anyone seen my body? Oh, Mr. Mr. Belvedere! Oh, dear.
start checking in because oh. we're newlyweds. Oh. <laughs> because we're newlyweds. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Well, welcome to Devonshire Castle. Oh, yes. Where history lives on, sort of. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't know much about the place. Uh, what can you tell us? Can <laughs> 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 you tell me you've never heard of the Devonshire Castle? No. Surely you've heard of the nickname the Blood House? <laughs> the Killing Castle? <laughs> Torture Tapestries? <laughs> Slice throat mountain? Slice throat mountain? <laughs> yes! <laughs> right where you're standing was the site of a quadruple murder, quadruple suicide that happened back in the 15th century. Oh, wait, a quadruple murder and suicide? You bet your ass. <laughs> <laughs> By right where you're standing, right there, in that specific spot, a lover's quarrel was found out. Why, you see, back in 1601, Lord <laughs> Bentley was discovered by his wife in a tumultuous love affair with his mistress. Oh, that's kind of romantic in like a fantasy kind of way. She sliced their faces off <laughs> and wore them around the castle for weeks on end. <laughs> 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 Europe as a torture chamber for <laughs> Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> We're in England. <laughs> <laughs> it was trending. <laughs> Todd, I don't want to say this, but I don't think we should stay here too. <clears throat> I'm with you. I don't want to stay in a place where literally every inch was covered in blood. <laughs> well, that's preposterous. Why not every Sight in the Devonshire Castle has been the site of a grisly, gruesome, bruiser murder. Uh, yeah, well, I bet that curtain's used to strangle people. Of course not! That's a plot twist! Hey. He survived. So, uh, so let's get out of here. I think there was a Hilton right up the road. Wait, wait, no, don't go! A Hilton, where's the history in that? Oh, come on. I can show you the exact location where Lady Isabel's eyeballs were found. Oh, oh, why do I always do that? <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? Well, we're here on the honeymoon and we heard there's been a lot of death in the castle. <laughs> Why, yes, yes, there has been! <laughs> about 
passing AP chemistry and, and maybe uh, you know get some over the bra action time. <laughs> Stop comparing me to your dad! I'm sorry, you just love him so much! <laughs> and not in a creepy way, no, like in a way where he gave me this ring, and, I, and, and he also protects my chastity. Charlene, I heard yelling, is everything alright? Oh my gosh, Daddy, I have somebody I want you to meet! Uh, hey sir, Jer Jeremy. Uh, so you're the man that wants my little girl's special flower. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a promise ring. A promise ring? Uh -huh. Well, my little girl deserves more than a promise. She deserves the world. Oh. She deserves a man that'll treat her like a queen. She deserves to always be put first. We always make sure she comes first, Jeremy. <gasps> Who comes first, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> she does, sir. Madam boy, I'll be proud to call you son. Uh -huh. oh, we're 16, and I feel like we're a little early on to be talking about marriage. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Dad, don't be mad, okay? What? 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 You're just my little girl! You're my little angel! I know! God, I just I remember when you were born. I remember holding you in my arms when you were baptized. I remember bathing you as a child. Oh, I remember you giving you piggyback rides in the backyard. She rode me so hard! Get me out, Dad! Faster! Faster! Get me out! Maybe you just need... Maybe you just deserve more. Yeah, yeah, Daddy, you're right. Maybe I do deserve more. <laughs> yeah, maybe you do. Uh, uh, I'll see you around, Charlene. Okay. All right. Well, well Charlene. Uh, yeah. I guess one day, one day you'll find a man that truly deserves you. I know, Daddy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone you love prescribed a late at all to treat your depression? Then call the law offices of Davis and Hitler. You could be eligible for a cash settlement. Uh, a late at all did nothing for my depression, but I called Davis and Hitler and I got cash. A late at all couldn't cure your depression, but money can. So call Davis and Hitler. Go to davishitler.com. That's D A V I S Hitler. Spelled just like the name of the Third Reich dictator, but no relation. Dot com. They won my case, but I did not appreciate that little mustache. Just to be clear, Davis is the one with the mustache. Hitler prefers a clean shaven look. Yeah, but still. But still yourself. Hitler just happens to be his last name. If you're prejudging him based on that, that's on you. You want to name shame someone? How about Mike fucking Davis? Seriously, Google Mike Davis in any prison system and you're bound to find way more criminals than any fucking Hitler. Stop name shaming. Jeez, dude, take a chill pill. That's Davis and Hitler, attorneys at law. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? I think I had a pet iguana. I found a pair of isotoners, just like the victim described. I did have a pet iguana. <sighs> okay. We don't have time for this. Oh, and he had a cage just like this one. <laughs> oh, good God, I found a femur. <laughs> oh, God, you know, you, how do you forget an entire pet? I mean, you misplace your keys, you forget the newspaper, and that shit on me Sunday, you forget you have an iguana. <laughs> Come on, help me move this box. It's just a box of bones. <laughs> oh, his name was Iggy. Who? My pet iguana. Jeez, I told you don't have time for this shit. Give me back any second. Oh, I know that name's not very creative. I must have been pretty young when I had that one. It's like naming your cat Caw or Hitten. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God, was I eight or nine? We got brains. Oh, we definitely got brains. Oh, I was definitely nine because that was the year I got my first stereo and I used to listen to Three Dog Night while I was cleaning his terrarium. It's hard for me to tell where the human parts stop and the animal parts begin. This is the most fucked up shit I have ever seen. <laughs> Some kind of wonderful. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Jerry! Oh, oh shit! There's an alien back here! What the fuck? Carry on my way, Wilson! Yeah, that was the one. Now, what the hell is the name of the person? Oh my god, the alien is spawning! He's breathing right in front of me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, was she my name? Like, band name, like Chicago or Boston. <laughs> Well, it's either the lime oil or the fact that you can use it in lieu of pool chlorine.
boring. That would be true. Then why did I dump 400 containers of it into the local wave pool, Trudy? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
found the cure for the ailment that fell all of those kids and they were all going to live on and be happy for the rest of their lives. And then there was a brief moment of just elation. It was most of their real wish. <laughs> Yeah. 
was uh, nightmares and dreams. Um, and sadly, there are only so many hours in the day, only so many scenes in the sketch. So we do have the ones that didn't end up making it in. So imagine if this is what you just saw, what these would have been. Thank you so much. 